make sure you are running every node 10.101.4 or the latest version. Today we'll try together these two new features here and I'll talk about a third one which is not a feature but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I think you like it. Let's start with the table of contents. What's new here? Remember this note from a long time ago? It is from March. This is the note I used to demonstrate the table of contents. But here's the problem. This one here, for example, was this helpful, please? So there is that uh, emoji. Let's delete this. The link will still work, but the heading wasn't updated. Well, let's delete this and let's create a new table of contents. Oops, something new here. <laughs> okay, thank you. You can see that it's a little different, right? So let's try something here. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Let me turn this off. By the way, I have already recorded a shorts showing you how to turn off the slash commons. Here it is. Unfortunately, this will only work on new table of contents, the ones you create from now on. As far as I know, there is no way to update the old ones, the only way to do it is deleting the old one and creating a new one. This is the first time I'm trying it and I think it's pretty cool. But looking at this box now, can we drag it? Oh, it looks like we can. So will this still work? Wow, it looks like it does still work and it's is still updating. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like this. Please allow me to say something here. From time to time, I see people complaining about features like this. They say it's not a big deal because all other apps already have it. First, I don't think that's completely true, but come on, what would be the alternative? Do nothing? The lack of features like this is not Banning Spoon's fault. They are doing a great job, a terrific job bringing Evernote on par with all other apps on record time. We should be applauding them all the time. <laughs> okay, enough with that. Let's take a look at the other feature. Remember that to pin a note to a notebook, we had to go to the three dots and then choose pin to notebook. Well, there's a new option. You can right click here and pin to notebook or right click on a pin note and unpin from notebook. I still didn't get the update here, so I won't be able to show you, but it's also coming to mobile on 10.101.0. We'll be able to pin the note from within the note, clicking or rather tapping the three dot menu. I would like to see a shortcut. There is no shortcut. And by the way, did you notice that they updated the copy uh, what was that web link to copy note link much better and there is a shortcut for this and i'm using it all the time <laughs> okay now listen to I'm this focusing the next few months on two main tracks these are collaboration and quality of life collaboration is pretty self-explanatory we are trying to work on a few different things that, that have to do with like note sharing there note sharing Remember that. Um, Real-time collaboration and in general, like the experience of using Evernote together with others. Like I said in the beginning, this is not a feature, but let's click this. By the way, you'll find the link in the description below. Okay, Evernote bug fix tracker. So this is a list of all fixed bugs and there's a lot of links and other important information here, useful information. I see this as very useful because most people don't read the release notes. Do you? Do you even know what a release note is? <laughs> Every time a software is updated, uh, there is a release note attached to it. It's Evernote pops it up if you download it uh, on uh, the desktop client, but uh, 
I doubt you read the release notes if you upgrade a software, uh, an app on your phone. They All the apps have release notes, but do you read them? So this is a list of all the, the bug fixes. And there's also this. This is pretty cool. Meet the team. I, I think it... I think it's a nice touch. Now, what does this has to do with the clip I just played? Well, this is a shared note, an Evernote shared note. And Federico was talking about improvements to sharing. So, I don't know. <laughs> I just find it interesting that they are using a shared note for something like this. And they are also talking about improving the sharing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just saying. If you find videos like this helpful, I'd appreciate it if you consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube, like all these people here. Thanks for watching. See you soon.